Welcome to the What Would Terry Do video blog featuring Terry Slattery. Well, the first reason is if you're willing to walk, it tends to heighten their interest in you because they're baffled as to why you wouldn't want to compete for their business. But if you've noticed how a lot of luxury goods are sold, they have wonderful versions of something like, we're not for everyone. And I see it in luxury cars and jewelry and all kinds of things where, hey, we're not doing this for the masses. And all of a sudden, I say, what do you mean? I kind of like to have some of that stuff. They don't like being excluded. So that's one of the reasons why we don't have to apologize. But the other thing is, a lot of times when you're being asked for a proposal, it may be to validate a decision that's already been made. And there's nothing in it for you to help them at that point. If the proposal has any lack of clarity about what happens after you give them the proposal, then chances are this thing's going to end ugly. And so when they say, could you give us a proposal? You get to say, we do lots of proposals. It helps if I understand where you are in your process. So let's pretend I give you a proposal that addresses the problem that you hope the pro proposal would solve. It's within the range of money that you told me you're willing to spend to fix it, and I answer all the questions you have. What happens next? And you listen very carefully to that answer, because if there's any ambiguity in it whatsoever, you're being invited to a luau, and your job is to perform the role of the pig. And then from what I've learned, the pigs don't enjoy the luau as much as everybody else. And so, we don't have to apologize, and how do you do it gracefully so the door is open when you come back? Because that's one of the questions we get all the time. So they say, why don't you give us a proposal? And you say, it seems a little premature. Help me understand where you are in your decision process and what things will be most important to you in the proposals. And as you start sorting out and listening to what they're telling you, if you find out that it isn't going to recognize your value, then you still have time to try to inject that recognition into their decision process, as we've talked about in the other video. And so, when it looks like you're not going to bid, you're going to say something like, I appreciate you considering us. I get the feeling a proposal from us would be a little premature. What do you think? And of course, that's not what they were expecting, so they'll say, what do you mean? So it looks like the focus of this thing is pretty much all about the price of a solution that you appear to want to have. And that solution typically is not the one we do best. A lot of times people are focused on the price of the solution instead of the effectiveness of the solution. We do better when the focus is on the effectiveness side. And I've discerned from some of our discussions, it looks like this is pretty much a can deal. And it's price. And that's not our strength. So what has to happen for my phone to ring when it shifts to the other price.